Sing another rock control, yeah. Sing another rock control. Oh. Hey, guys. How much was I recording? Because I said a lot of stuff that um, was not supposed to be on YouTube. Um. Well, you know what? Never mind. I don't want to know what I said because now I'm going to be demonetized and whatever. Hey guys, it's Shane Sam Shane Bad Today I'm going to be showing you my brand new collecting mini dinosaurs. <clears throat> so I hope you guys enjoy. So before we get started, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you can only make a brand new video. So yeah, let's get started. So we have here wave one and wave two. So yeah, these dinosaurs are made by, by not guy, sorry, by Collect Day 2015. So I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get started. So of course, obviously, we're going to get started with Wave 1. And then Wave 2, of course. Next. So yeah, let's get started with Wave 1. So let's open it. And yeah, we have like a few dinosaurs in here. So I'm going to put the Wave 2 bat behind the camera. And yeah, we're going to get started with Wave 1. So yeah. First off, we have a Pachycephalosaurus, and the details are really nice. This is a fabulous collecte dinosaur. I just love it. Love the details. It's amazing. So I'm going to put him right there. Next, we have a Parasaurolophus. Love the colors. Love the red. It's like nice orange colors, and then on the frill. Not the frill, sorry, like the, like the bone-headed thing. Um, or like just like the armor thing or whatever it's called. It's really cool. I like the red, I like the black eyes. It's really nice. This dinosaur is amazing, just fabulous. I love the way Collect Day does their dinosaurs. And if you don't have Collect Day dinosaurs, you should get them because Collect Day dinosaurs, I'm telling you, are amazing. So yeah, next we have a <clears throat> Kinchasera. Wait. <laughs> Kent, sorry, Kentosaurus. I really like this dinosaur. It's really, it's really detailed. Even though there's not really that many colors, but yeah, it's, it's really detailed. The way like they put the poses and stuff. This takes like a very long time for collecting to make. This this cost thirty two dollars plus plus like six dollars the shipping. So that's like um, so that's like thirty eight dollars altogether. And this, that's a really good price for 20 mini dinosaurs. So if you guys don't know, there's 20 dinosaurs in this pack and 20 in the other one. So yeah, they're really cool. I just, I just love them. They're, they're brand new and they're, they're super cool. I love them. So yeah, I'm going to put them right there. Next we have a Stegosaurus. Now this one actually is one of my favorites in this set because it just looks so realistic. I just love, love dinosaurs so much. When I grow up, I'm going to become a scientist. And of course, maybe if I'm still a YouTuber, when I grow up, I'm going to make YouTube videos about doing science and like ghost searching for, you know, like dinosaur bones and, and all that stuff. So, you know, it's going to be really cool. So I can't wait when I get older. So yeah, it's really cool. The plates are really realistic, like earthy colored. I really like this earthy colored um, Stegosaurus. It's really cool. So yeah, next we have my favorite in the whole entire um, wave one. We have the feathered T-Rex. Now I love the details. The eyes are amazing. I, I just love it. I love the green and then the red. Is, it's feathered T-Rex. Like who would not like feathers that are like green and red? Like what? <laughs> Well, it's just really cool. I love the stand. It's just, just amazing. Just fabulous. That, that's all That's all you need to know. It's fabulous. The details are amazing. And that it's by collecting. <laughs> so, yeah. Next, we have a Triceratops. I love these dinosaurs. So, so far, the most popular dinosaurs in this set are the, are the, feather, is the feather T-Rex, the Triceratops, and the Stegosaurus. So that's the most popular dinosaurs in the, and um, like, you know, like the, the dinosaurs so far, you know. So it's really cool. So what were we on the Stegosaurus? No, the, no, the, yeah, the, um, the Triceratops. So yeah, the details, I love the, the dinosaur, I love one of my favorite dinosaurs ever. I just, I just love the details. Um, Collecte does a really good job. There, that's what it says on the bottom. If you guys can read, if the camera could like focus a little bit. But yeah, just love the dinosaurs. Like amazing. So yeah, next we have 
um a baryonyx um really cool head like the like the to the neck up not really that cool actually no the dinosaur is amazing just like the body's like a little bit fat and then you got like the good the legs are good the tail is good the arms are good but then you got the face I, I, the, i'm saying I'm, i still love love like absolutely love the dinosaur love the details um just love the teeth inside it's actually really cool but but just like the head is like too skinny a little bit but it's still fabulous i love the dinosaur see how we're gonna put him right there and next we have a mosasaurus now this is the biggest one in wave one i'm kind i was about to say comment down below which is your favorite dinosaur but we haven't even gotten into wave two yet so yeah i'll say that at the end of the video just stay tuned so yeah the, i love the details and if you guys don't know mosasaurus actually has two sets of teeth like i go back here but but us humans and like other dinosaurs only have these teeth, you know, like like the front row teeth. But yeah, I just, I just really love the dinosaur. It's really cool, just like amazing. Like I love it. The bottom is really cool. I don't know why they have those numbers there. Like you can see it on you can see it on the usually this this guy, and you could also see it on the. Um, the t the feather t-rex the number right there you can also see it on the um the pachycephalosaurus usually the dinosaurs that have stands and maybe the maybe this pterodactyl maybe this pteranodon or whatever you want to call it so yeah since we already have the pter pteranodon in our hands let's show it so yeah this is actually my most favorite when i said this is my favorite uh it's, it's usually kind of like my favorite dinosaur but also no i said it was my favorite in the whole set but this is actually like an inch cooler it's just like because it's a little bit transparent you know you see when i put my hand there you can kind of see it me move around it's just super cool. Collecte did a great job thinking about this, like making its wings like a little bit transparent. Just beautiful dinosaur, beautiful li li living flying creature. It's actually not a dinosaur. If you guys don't know, it's a, it, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you are there like, Chase, of course it's a dinosaur, what do you mean? Now, it's actually not a dinosaur. It's a, pre, it's a prehistoric lizard, well, well, yeah, it's something like a prehistoric lizard or prehistoric animal. I just know that this is 100% not a dinosaur. So, yeah, that that's some, if you guys don't know, that could be some new news to you, for you guys. But, yeah, last from this set, we have an Argentinosaurus. Now, they have not found a lot. This is called an Argentinosaurus because they found it in Argentina. And Argentina is actually a really cool place. I haven't really been there, but I've, I've kind of heard that there is a lot of like cool museums there. But yeah, it, this is an Argentinosaurus. They have not found a lot of these dinosaurs. Now, this dinosaur is actually pretty rare. I just love it. The details are really nice. The head, I know I said the head is a little bit too skinny just because the 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 body's a little bit fat but still amazing dinosaur amazing details love it but and this guy i just love the skinniness on his neck and his face but the way that they did the details on this sorry i have a little bit of glitter on my face sorry that's kind of distracting you but i can't take it off right now but yeah just like the details they did on the on the face is just amazing because the, the way that they made the details on the face is is so incredibly because the dinosaur is so incredibly small i just, I just love it it's just super cool so yeah we're gonna put the box the empty box over there and move on up moving on to wave two so yeah Sorry if I'm scratching in my nose a lot. Just like I kind of have a little bit of allergies right now because I was playing with my dog just before. So yeah, just gonna oh, open this. Sorry, sorry because like it's a little bit hard because I like to close them good. 
because that one I need to do with my teeth. One of the boxes, like, I need to do with my teeth, but, like, the other one, I just need to, it's just easy to open. But, yeah, let's move on to wave two. So, next, here, we have an Apatosaurus. Love the details. Again, so freaking realistic. Just amazing. Look at this dinosaur. Just, like, swapping its tail. Super cool. Love the spikes. Honestly, the spikes are amazing. Like, there's nothing cooler on this dinosaur. Oh, and here, here's the number, if you were wondering. The number's right there. I just love this dinosaur. It's really cool, amazing. And these dinosaurs are not hollow. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're thinking, why, why, would I, why would we think they're hollow? But still, you never know. Someone could have like, been wanting to know like if the dinosaurs are hollow and stuff. But just, just for your information, not hot. Not hollow, sorry. But uh, uh, another one, here's a Brachiosaurus, love it. This might be the biggest in this set, I'm not sure. Or maybe the tallest, not the biggest, but the top. <coughs> sorry. the Not the biggest, but maybe like the tallest. But still amazing details, amazing dinosaur. Small head, so I just love how they did the details on it. It's just amazing. Now, yeah, I just love the colors, really nice. Like this, like, like, I like this weird swampy green color, like this weird dark swampy green color. I really like it. And yeah, again, if you were wondering, the tag, the number's right there. It's, it's just really cool. I love the dinosaur. It's amazing. So yeah, next we have a Ankylosaurus. Just, I really like it. It's really cool. It's really nice. The details I love. Um, I like that red lines going on its back. It's really, or the plates, sorry. And not the plates, actually. The spikes, yeah. Um, it's really cool. I just love the dinosaur. I love how you, the, you know, like it has that, that armor tail, you know, where it smacks dinosaurs and stuff like that. Like to defend itself, you know. And if dinosaurs, you know, you know, maybe some dinosaurs will try and go for like maybe, maybe like the back. Like if they try and bite the back, maybe they'll try and do that. And and then they'll get the then they they'll bite the plates and then maybe their teeth will fall off or something. A little or their teeth will just get really hurt and that will make the and that will give give the opportunity for the ankylosaurus to strike and hit them maybe in the face or somewhere where they're already hurt and then it'll make them die or something. But it's just really cool. I love the just love the details. I just love it. I also love the fact that Collecte got the idea to get, not to just do like, 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 um, like popular dinosaurs. Collecte thought, okay, so this is what Collecte thought. They were like, we should make only popular dinosaurs. But then they were like, wait, instead of just making popular dinosaurs, we should make popular dinosaurs and also really rare dinosaurs that not really that many people talk about. So like the Apatosaur, so like the Apatosaurus, the Mosasaurus, um, the 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 Triceratops, the whoops, T Rex fell. <laughs> they like the T-Rex um like and like not just those dinosaurs they also thought to make like 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 um like dinosaurs that are not that popular like like a like a few dinosaurs that I'm not going to show you like this dinosaur not so popular um Argentinosaurus not so popular see it's just really cool though I I just love the fact that they thought of that well that's what I'm kind of thinking because that if if they're if they if I'm right then that's actually a really smart idea to do. Collected the collected the people who made collected dancers are really smart. So yeah, next we have a Quetzalcoatlus. Now this dinosaur is also not so popular. So again, just love how they made to put these dinosaurs in. Because usually these pe people that make dinosaur toys would usually like li like starting off with like with like dinosaurs that a lot of people already know and then the rare dinosaurs. But no, Collecte thought that and that that's super smart. I, I love it. It's really, it's really creative and, and stuff. 
So yeah, this Quetzalcoatlus has a lot of details. It would be cooler if they put a fish in its mouth because they actually put a fish in its mouth for the bigger version. I don't have the bigger version yet, but when I do, I'll, I'll show you guys and review it. Just really cool. So I love the blue going on its on its back on the neck on the long neck. If you guys don't know, blue is my favorite color. I just love blue. There's the tail. It's small, not so big. I'm pretty sure you guys already knew that because usually usually flying dinosaurs do not have that much of a tail. But if you guys don't know what a dimension what a, not dimension on this a dimorphodon, they actually they are actually flying dinosaurs and they have actually um like long tails. Yeah, long tails. See, so, yeah, I just really like it. So we're gonna put this Quetzalcoatlus down, and moving on, we have this dinosaur. Now, just I'm gonna look for the name. There it is, like Pluridon, like Pluridon. Love the details. I actually kind of love that yellow on the sides, and it's really cool. Love the black on the top that goes on the top. It's just really cool, man. I just love these dinosaurs. They're amazing. Collect a. Give, give a clap to collect it. Great dinosaurs. I just love it, man. So, yeah. Next, we have another dinosaur. Oh, wait. I forgot to say. Not so popular dinosaur. Or or marine and or marine dinosaur. Or marine animal. Or whatever you want to call it. So, this is a, Taurus, a Taurosaurus. A Taurosaurus. First time, I thought it was a, it was a, it was a Triceratops. But then I was like, they're not gonna make two triceratopses. So then I was, like, I looked at the name and I was like, it's a, it's a torosaurus. So yeah, I, I just love the details. Love like the two little eyes. They look like snake eyes. I just, I, I love it. I love how, I love how collect they. Maybe they didn't get the thing that that it would look that they would want to make it look like snake eyes. Still, really cool how they how they made it look like look like snake eyes. You know, it's just super cool. Love the three horns, three horn lizard. If you guys don't know, dinosaurs are actually lizards. It's really cool. And also, if you guys didn't know, um, their um cockroaches are actually dinosaurs. And sorry if you don't like cockroaches. I'm just saying, if you love dinosaurs, I'm just saying you at least have to love cockroaches too because they're dinosaurs. They're living like a long, long, long time ago. I know you're gonna say maybe like bugs lived a long, long time ago, but it's, it's just really cool because bugs also lived a long time ago. But but like um but like. The first bug to live on with the dinosaurs was actually the um the cockroach. So yeah, sorry if you don't like the word again. Sorry, but still, it's a dinosaur. If you love dinosaurs, you at least have to give the cockroach a little bit of love. I know, I know, it's disgusting, crazy, icky, um, creepy, but creepy crawlies. But you have to love it. At least give it a little bit of love. You know, um, smash that like button. What? Smash the like button, one like button. Well, I mean, one like equals one one person who likes the um, cockroach. So, yeah. I just, I just love the details. It's really nice. Love him. Love like that, like that, like that shadow on on him, like on the sides and on the top and on the shell, of course. Like that big, uh, big thing. So, yeah. Mm. Oh, if you're wondering what that paint is behind me, it actually says CMP. It's my initials, Chase Maximus Perez. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's move on. So, yeah. Next, we have a quadrupedo spinosaurus. Or a quadrupedo spinosaurus. That means four. Quadru means four. I love this dinosaur. Love, like, if you guys don't know, I've said in a, in a past video that... That I've actually said that I love Spinosauruses. That Spinosauruses are my favorite dinosaurs. I mean, Spinosaurus is my favorite dinosaur. I just love it. And this quadruped Spinosaurus is actually really nice. I love the details. Just love, love the different, like, rows of spikes on its tail. It's just amazing. Love the shadow from the top and on the spine. Just like, I just love the face. It just, it just collecting... Out of all of these dinosaurs right here on my table and, and the rest of them in the box of the collecting dinosaurs, there's only three left. But this is my favorite, favorite, favorite of all of these dinosaurs on my table. I just, I just love it. It's, it's super cool, super nice, and just beloved. I love it. So yeah, next we have a Giganotosaurus. 
I'm just gonna check if I'm right. Yep, Giganotosaurus, 2015, collecting dinosaurs. I just love it, a nice, nice green color. Uh, I like how he's walking on like, he looks like he's walking on like blur, burnt floors. Cause he looks like he's been walking somewhere that's been like a fire and like the, fur, the floor has been burnt or something. Like the grass, I don't know, it's just really cool. I, lo I love the details. Just, uh, just like, even if, even that, I just love the logo of Collecte. It's just amazing, I love it. Give some love to Collecte, one like, one like, is one collected dinosaur sent off to me. So I, I just love the dinosaur. So yeah, next we have an, what's this dinosaur? It's called an Amargosaurus. I just love this dinosaur, it's really cool. The neck, can, like you can like move the neck a little bit, but I, I wouldn't risk like moving it too much because then you can break in and you can ruin your brand new dinosaurs or your old dinosaurs, it depends. But yeah, I just really love it. Collect day, just, just, just amazing, you know? Like the details, pretty, love it. Um, yeah, again, one of the, one of a rare, like a rare dinosaur, it's really cool. So yeah, and um, last but not least, we have the moment you've been waiting for. You probably, you're probably, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you like a hint to what the dinosaur is. It's not really a hint because I'm telling you what the dinosaur is. But you guys are probably like, where is the Velociraptor? Where's the Velociraptor? Or where's the feathered Velociraptor? Where's the feathered Velociraptor? Here it is, folks. The feathered Velociraptor. Last but not least, dinosaur. You have to at least leave the, the like one of the cool dinosaurs for last. So yeah, it's just really cool. Love the tail. Just like, I love how it's like, mm, or something. I just really like it. Love feathered Velociraptors. Now, feathered Velociraptors are, are if you guys didn't know, actually, no, never mind. But it's just really cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to your channel, and turn on post notifications so you can know when to make a brand new video. So yeah, bye!